Ever wondered why mortgage rates go up and down like a roller coaster? It's not just the economy at play. There are other influences that you might not know about. Today, I want to teach you about the federal funds rate, a term that you've probably heard about, but you might not know what it means. I'm Rebecca Richardson, AKA the mortgage mentor, and I'm here to make mortgages make sense. So you can feel confident with the decisions that you're making. Be sure to subscribe and comment with any questions as we go along. Now, when it comes to the federal funds rate, whether you're a prospective homeowner or you're a realtor looking to advise your client, understanding how it affects rates and somebody's ability to qualify will help a ton when you're making decisions in this market. What exactly is the federal funds rate and why should you even care? Many people start shopping for homes without really even understanding how mortgage rates work. And that puts you in a vulnerable position because if you don't know what's affecting them, you don't know how it affects you. The federal funds rate is the rate at which banks lend money to each other. And this rate is controlled by the Federal Reserve. So they will raise and lower that rate depending on how the economy is doing. So if the economy is doing too well and there's inflation, the Fed will raise the rate to make things more expensive to slow down spending. And if the economy isn't doing so well, then the Fed will lower that rate to encourage spending. Let me know in the comments if you pay attention to what the Fed does. And if there are changes to the federal funds rate, impacts how you spend money. The reason we're talking about this is because we're coming out of a high inflation environment and the Fed has really turned up the heat to try to stop that inflation. So what that looks like is they raise the federal funds rate to make things like car loans, credit cards, and other loans more expensive. The one thing that's different though is when the Fed changes rates, it doesn't directly affect mortgages immediately. How it does affect rates is it gives us an indicator of where the economy is heading. And because ultimately mortgage rates are really based off of bonds and bonds lose their value in inflationary periods, the higher the inflation, the higher mortgage rates go. Changes to the Fed funds rate can affect your decision whether to buy. Because if the Fed is signaling that they are going to cut rates, that will make borrowing money cheaper. Mortgage rates will be cheaper. Your payment will be cheaper. But as rates drop, more buyers are eligible to qualify and there's more interest in buying. So it's kind of a double-edged sword that even though rates come down, it may be more difficult to get your dream home under contract. To expand a little bit more on how the Fed directly affects mortgage rates, you might be asking yourself, how does the Federal Reserve impact mortgage rates? It's a common misconception that the Fed sets mortgage rates and they don't. But this misinformation can easily lead to bad money decisions. If you don't know what's going on in the market, then trying to predict mortgage rates can feel like a guessing game. Mortgage rates are based on a variety of factors. How does the Fed funds rate fit in? It's because it makes borrowing money more expensive to banks. And so that cost gets passed on in the form of higher rate. If you're trying to decide what is going to be the right decision for you, pay more attention to your own individual situation, your timing, your budget, and don't try to fight the Fed. Now, because rates do change daily, sometimes even during the day, and there are a lot of variables that go into that, it can be difficult to understand where should you reliably look to see what rates are doing. It's easy to find rates online, but they're not always accurate because it might not be current information. It might not be anything like your own situation. And rates do change a lot depending on credit score, loan type, loan purpose, type of home, all of those kind of things. But if you wanna get a sense of what rates are doing in general, typically lenders will look at the 10-year treasury or the 10-year T-bond. And that is going to tell you if rates are going up or if they are going down. And even though rates don't move exactly the way that the 10-year treasury does, typically lower Fed funds rate, lower 10-year bond, historically, a lower Fed funds rate does lead to lower mortgage rates. So keeping that in mind, when is the best time to lock your rate? It's easy as a home buyer to feel like you're trapped trying to time the market. And it can be particularly stressful if you're wanting to buy a home in the next three to six months and there's all this chatter about rates changing. But understanding what the Fed intends to do this year and what the current dynamics are, it does help. Here's the thing about trying to time the market. It's really difficult. So my advice is always, if you can afford the payment and you feel financially secure enough, go ahead and buy the home. A rate can be fixed later with a refinance, but when there aren't a lot of homes for sale, home prices will continue to go up. So regardless of what the rate is, it's probably going to be more expensive if you wait. But all that being said, I would love to hear from you in the comments how much the rate affects your decision to buy. And with all these potential rate fluctuations, fixed rate mortgages are still the most popular type of mortgages to get. 
because regardless of what happens, it gives you the peace of mind knowing that the principal and interest portion of your mortgage payment won't change. But as we see the market stabilize, we may see arms come back a little bit, which will give us an advantage if there's enough of a savings. But again, most people tend to default to a fixed rate mortgage right now. Have you ever wondered why when the Fed adjusts rates, mortgage rates do the opposite? The Federal Reserve meets monthly to announce their take on the economy and what their next move is with the federal funds rate. And they do this to cool down or to heat up the economy. Most of the time, the market knows kind of what the Fed is going to do. Typically, they're not calling an audible and making a shocking change to rates. But the opposite of why mortgage rates can do the opposite of what the Fed does with the Fed funds rate comes out in the commentary. And that's because it talks about what the Fed will be doing in the future and what they think that the economy is going to do. And that's why if you're trying to time locking your mortgage rate around what the Fed is going to do, you might be surprised. That's a wrap on the federal funds rate and how it affects mortgage rates. Whether you're trying to buy your first home or you're a realtor helping clients make that decision, staying informed makes a big difference. If you have any questions or you have thoughts that you want to share, put them in the comments. I love hearing from you and understanding what else you want to know. Don't forget to like and share this video if you found it helpful. Your support means a ton. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.